Hello guys, today I'm going to show you this little hex memory cell. It's, it was more for negative numbers, but I think I lost a little track of what I was trying to create. So, what now I'm going to do is take stack three down. So, what I created was this memory cell. Let me just rearrange this so I have clear space. Okay. So what we could do is we could store anything, any numbers. It's no, it's not. So right now I'm storing, putting 11 into our input, and we could either stack up and say, no, oh, let's say I'm going to this one actually. So by I'll, I'll, so if I'm running this. What I can do is I can press this, and what this says is anything above it can be written to freely. So it just goes up the line and says now all of these are unlocked and free to be written to. We do not have to man. that because it's redirecting it. So now we're free writing to it. So we don't want that. Well, I mean we do want that in some cases, but we don't need it. So what we can I have made was a let's write that eleven back into it and let's store it into let's write it. And now that we have wrote it we can see that 11 can go through and it cannot go through our negative section negative and if let's say i'm writing a 15 to this bit or yeah. i'm writing to this bit as well because it's getting is so that thing is actually controlling each one same thing we can't really I can't really fix it but there's only one way to really and do that is with comparators at the beginning which I can do it's not that hard but it it's gonna be a little hassle oh so now what we could do I wrote it a 15 and it could be subtract by two um I'm pretty sure or by it so this takes away and yeah and it's a little bit of a I it was actually pretty easy for me to make with these this little bridgestone block and activator we can enable and disable it if we have a, a lever but no and right here is where we could store negative numbers <clears throat> And these negative numbers are controlled right about here. This whole this whole section, basically, except for this and this, really. And what it it does, is, right? As you can see, if we're to write it here, I get nothing to that output. So, if we're to enable it, we get a negative. We can get a negative number negative so negative number is being written to the lock so bedrock computer which is causing the negative number so that's how the number is stored in this one so we're storing it in locks instead and we're storing it in this little contraption it says this one's off then this one could go through as as you can see they're always on but this one will actually have to change. oh we don't need something back here I think I believe yes so what we can do is we can make an AND gate, so if we were to oh. 
I'm not, it's not complete, it's, it's more of uh, only store negative numbers, but I just wanted to showcase it right now. And what it can, it's actually going to be used mostly for this thing, which is a sig signal stack that stacks up, up, and yeah. But that's all. It, it's, it's like a ROM method, that's what it was. Forgot what it was called. And we have an ore in the middle, and yeah. But, that's really all for this showcase. And yeah, make sure to subscribe for it to be finished.